back to my channel thank you for tuning in so I know you might be looking at the title of this video a little crazy but before you take offense at the audacity this video may seem to have stay tuned because it only applies to certain people so maybe you might be one of them maybe you might not maybe you might know somebody who's one of these people stay tuned to find out number one if you're always asking that friend or family member who lives overseas when they're coming home, you need to be sending care packages. And the reason is because that's just a question that expats hate. Like we just, we hate hearing it. It's annoying. Expats are where they are for a bunch of different reasons. One of the reasons might be a financial one. Sometimes you're paid more overseas. You're able to save overseas because things like housing and other utility bills are just really low so if you're always asking that person when they're coming home are you trying to be the one to take care of these financial obligations that expats feel that they can properly handle overseas instead of in their home country other reasons expats are overseas might be for some type of thrill that they get they like experiencing new things seeing new cultures they like all of that so if you're asking them to come back home how are you then fulfilling that for them are you going to be sending them on vacations how are you then going to make up for the fact that you're coming back because you asked them to and leave behind everything that they feel that you're gaining how are you fulfilling what they're losing? A better question would be, when are you going to go visit them? The thing is, nine times out of 10, the ones who are always asking you to come back home aren't the ones who are helping you transition, helping you get over reverse culture shock, helping you by offering themselves um, their homes as a place to stay, picking you up from the airport. They're not extending themselves as much as you would expect for someone who's always asking them to come back. I challenge everyone who's being asked this question so much to ask that person that's asking you to come back home, why? Why do you want me back? A lot of the times it really has nothing to do with you coming back for you and your safety, but it has something to do with them. One, maybe they can't imagine themselves being away from home for that long because that's just not something they would ever want to do. And because they don't wanna do it, they feel like you shouldn't either. Or two, they can't do what you're doing and maybe they kind of wish that they could be. Whatever the reason, if you're this type of person, you come across as selfish because you're putting your needs and wants above someone else's. So when you send care packages, what you're doing, what you're really saying is that while I miss you, I want to make your time away more comfortable and I want to show you that I am happy that you are away and you are enjoying yourself and living your life to the fullest. So you could really reverse that selfishness that's behind that question of when are you coming back home by sending a care package to make that person's stay feel more comfortable. Number two. If you are the type of person that you do not trust that where your friend or family member wants to go live overseas is safe, you don't trust that, um, you need to be sending a care package as soon as they get there. <laughs> and you need to be doing this because you are adding to the fears and whatever frustration and attention that this person already has and trying to muster up all of the courage, all the resources they need to go to another country. You are just adding to the stress. The thing about all of that is, is that when you constantly question whether or not where they're going is safe, constantly, when you constantly do this, you are questioning their discernment and doubting their judgment. You have to trust that they've done the necessary work required to find out if where they're going is safe. There's the internet, there's books, there's articles, there's Facebook groups that you can talk to and uh, communicate with people who have traveled to all these other places. You have to trust that they've done all this research. If you don't, then that says more about you than it does about them. If you're only bringing them bad news about the country they wanna go to, you're gonna hear from them less and less. Ask yourself, if you're this type of person, 
if the concerns and the problems that you're bringing to them about the country they want to go to, are those problems equal or lesser to the country that they're trying to leave? The other thing you want to ask yourself is, are these problems that I'm bringing to this person who wants to go, are these legit problems that they would deem issues? And what I mean by that is, if you are telling you know your friend who wants to go live in korea because i'm in korea i'm gonna say korea that you know oh they might put you in a rural um countryside you know you shouldn't go because you don't want to be somewhere like that well what if that friend is a recluse then they won't mind being in a rural countryside they won't mind being alone they won't mind not seeing any other foreigners because they like to keep to themselves anyway. Whenever you want to bring to them a problem, think first, is this a problem they would have? Or is this a problem they wouldn't already face if they were to stay here in the country that they're from? Here's the thing. Most people, most Americans tend to think that America is the safest, best, greatest country in the world, okay? Couple that with the idea that a good amount of Americans, not all, but a good amount aren't as well versed in travel as other countries. We're getting a little better, but we're still not quite up there. We're not as well traveled as other countries. So couple those two things together and you're stuck with a person with that mindset, with those two things, telling someone else how they should live their life. If you're this person, stop and head to the nearest post office and send them something. Because all you're doing during this journey is adding stress to their lives and they don't need that. Number three, communication. One of the issues I have heard frequently um, that foreigners have is that they either always bear the weight of calling home. So like people don't call them, <laughs> they always have to call. And of course, when they do that, they always have to be the one to lose sleep because it has to be at a time that's convenient for that friend and family member who's back home. And so the expat is always losing sleep, trying to communicate and stay in touch with everyone back from where they are. The other issue is that when they do call home, maybe these people, they always talk about themselves. So there's not like a real genuine interest of like, what they have going on, what the issues they're encountering and how they're navigating and all of that stuff. I mean, it's really nice to get updates from back home and hear what people are doing and stay in the loop, but it would be nice to feel like there's a genuine interest in our lives over here. For this type of person, you really could be sending a care package to let this expat know that you care about them, even though it might not seem like it through the conversations you guys are having. So that list was not very long, but they were issues that pop up frequently amongst the expat community. And I do feel it could be remedied a little bit by sending care packages. Um, I don't have this issue. I, I get packages. <laughs> I get lots of packages. I see it happen to lots of other people and it's sad. <laughs> you got somebody who's overseas, send them a care package, man. Especially if, if you add into the stress. I'm not saying it's your responsibility to make sure that they are comfortable in this country that they decided to travel to. But if you're not making things easier for them, the least you can do is just send them a little something, something. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you know someone who's like this, pass this video along. If you are one of these type of people, please make the changes necessary. Thank you for watching. Bye.